In section 7.4, we take descriptive classifiers to the next level. Here we will focus on adding specific details about the things we are describing. As you work to improve your bank of DCLs, remember these guiding principles. Be as literal as possible about size and shape. Use eye gaze to approximate size and location. And use yourself as a stand-in for the depiction whenever possible. Small things are depicted with pinky fingers or a G hand shape plus the OO mouth shape. Medium-sized things are indicated with an index finger or a B hand shape plus the mmm mouth shape or duck lips. Big things are indicated with a bent L hand shape, a cha mouth or a C hand shape, plus the cha mouth or in some cases puff cheeks. The order of operations for describing objects moves from general to specific. It starts with the big idea then drills down to smaller details. If the item has a name, it's good to start with that. Next, move to the most important attributes, size and shape, or in some contexts, color. Next, describe the materials it is made from, color, and then any other additional details that seem essential. Color is a primary attribute for many deaf people as vision is their dominant sense. For that reason, sometimes color will move up in the order of operation, depending upon its contextual importance. The order of operations is not written in stone. The order may vary due to the contextual relevance of certain features. However, the rule of thumb, which does not change, is that you should start general and then move on to specifics. Here are some examples. Sunglasses. Fairly large frames. Brown in color, dark brown and light brown mixed. We call this tortoise shell. The hinges on the side of the glasses are gold and reflective. Reading glasses with thin frames, little peaks on the outside corners. They're black with some white details along the top edge that reflect light. Reading glasses, average size frames. They're brown and purple mixed. A tortoise shell design. A bag, a large bag with a big strap. The fabric is wool. The color is orange. The bag is knit. This bag is small, quite small and oval. It has a thin strap that you can throw over your shoulder. It's small and black, and it looks like a cat. Yeah, it has ears and a nose and whiskers. This bag is average size, a kind of square shape. It's black, very soft. The front has flowers on it, orange flowers, decorating the front of the purse. It has a thin strap. This bag is leather. It's black. 
It has a wide strap and a front facing clasp. This is a hat. It's flat topped. It has a brim. The fabric is wool. It's a green color, kind of dark. The green is like olive. It has a band around it that's black. This hat has a wide flat brim. It's made of straw. It has strings that tie beneath your chin and it's a light yellow color. This hat is pink. It's a page boy style with a small bill and a ribbon across the front, kind of like a cap. The fabric is denim. This hat is black fur, very thick. The fur is fake and it's warm. This hat is made of velvet. It's red. And it's big, kind of like a chef's hat, but it's smooshed down and a little bit crooked. This jacket is very long. It's made of leather, suede. It's black all the way down. It has a white fake fur all around the collar, down the front, and on the cuffs. This jacket is light green. The fabric is nylon. It has ruffles in the front and a zippered pocket on each side. It closes with snaps. This jacket is made of a fabric that looks like rubber, but it's fake. It's black. It has long sleeves and a hood that are also black and made of a fake fur. The lining inside the jacket and the outer part of the hood are a dark pink color with floral patterns. The jacket has a zippered closure. This jacket is really fancy. Waist length, puffy over the shoulders, tighter around the upper arms and forearms, which are red. Around each cuff are pink ruffles. The jacket has many different colors in patches, orange, red, yellow, pink. These different patchy colors. There are two strings that tie in the center. This dress is orange with black and gray plaid. It has short sleeves 
and a scoop neck. These are goggles. They're big. They're silver around the edges. They have a black strap. And the lenses are green. But they're like a rainbow. Iridescent. It's really pretty. Earrings. They're big. Really big. Big round earrings. This concludes Lecture 7.4. Make sure to practice describing your own clothing and accessories.